Hey, I'm Yusuf from EveryPlay. I'm here to show you just how easy it is to add EveryPlay into a Unity 3D game. We work with a lot of developers and we quite often get asked just how easy it is to use EveryPlay's game recording and replay sharing functionality. And instead of telling you, we wanted to show you just how fast it is. So to do that, we have Unity 4 here with Angry Bots running it. So Angry Bots is the Unity 4 demo game showing all the technical quality that Unity brings to bear. And this is just a fresh build, so there's nothing done before this. We just open up the demo project. And the only other thing I've done in advance is that I've registered for an account on EveryPlay and I've downloaded the SDK. So to get started, we have the Unity 4 open here with Angry Bots running. And we need to add, add the EveryPlay package into Unity. And the way we do that is we go to Assets, Import Package, and then select Custom Package. So I've downloaded the EveryPlay SDK previously. And it's right here on my desktop. The only thing we need to do is to add the package, like this. And we can import all these items by tapping on import, and Unity is compiling the scripts and adding it to the project hierarchy. Next up, we have EveryPlay right here under plugins. We're going to drag and drop the EveryPlay uh, package into the scene uh, hierarchy to the root. There we go. And this actually already integrates EveryPlay to your Unity's rendering engine and audio engine. Next up, we need to configure EveryPlay so that the EveryPlay servers know that your game is authenticated and allowed to use EveryPlay. To do that, we need the client ID, which you will receive when you register for EveryPlay, and the client secret, which we are just cutting and pasting here into the inspector, and the redirect URI, which is used for OAuth2 authentication. There. And that actually is the integration. EveryPlay automatically ties into the Unity rendering engine and audio engine to capture game replays into video as you play. Now, in your game, you need to decide what is the appropriate time to start recording and stop recording. For this demo, we build a couple of buttons to do that. And we're just enabling them by clicking on the EveryPlay test script here in, in the inspector. And now let's turn on the uh, project, let's uh, tap play. And we can see those buttons overlaid on top of the game, like this. So that's basically the integration. Now, you know, obviously we want to see it running not on a PC or a Mac. We want to see it running on an iPad. So we can uh, build and run this project on this iPad. So uh, let's go and check out. We have all the settings correctly. iOS, yep. And we can tap build and run and save the project and replace the existing uh, folder and let it compile anew. So while it's compiling, let me tell you a little bit more about EverPlay. So what EverPlay enables you to do is to automatically record the replays and to share them with your game fans and the friends of the players. So players can share to uh, Facebook, to Twitter, and shortly also to YouTube and show the world what is really cool about your game. So now we've got Xcode opening up here and it's starting to deploy. So EveryPlay is embedded in your game. It's not, a it's not a separate service. It's an integral part of your game experience. And by, uh, by making it an integral part, we get over the main hump of the user having to think about of actually recording. Instead, it happens all the time as the user plays without the user having to think about that. And that means that the user gets an instant replay and he can easily share that. So instead of having to think about recording, having to think about sharing with friends, they just get the replay and they share it. And that will get you free high quality users. So now we have uh, Angry Bots starting up here on the iPad. And I'm going to show you in a moment just where, uh, how the replay works. So here we go. This is uh, Angry Bots. So this is just a standard Angry Bots. The recording hasn't been enabled yet. So as you can see, this runs fabulously at 30 frames a second with all the graphical effects. Now to start recording, this time we have it on demand, so I'm going to tap start recording. And as you can see, nothing changed. It's still running beautifully at 30 frames per second. All the Robot Mayhem action is right there. All right, let me get me some more robots. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. So, game plays, controls, runs beautifully. And now we're going to stop the recording, this time on demand, and then check out the recording that we just made by tapping 
play last recording. And this opens up every place controller. And this is the video recording of Angry Boss that we just made. As you recall, I was moving around, then I found two robots and I killed them. Here we go. Just like that. And now I would obviously want to share this with my friends to show them how cool this game is. And I can do that by just by tapping the share replay button. And now to share this uh, video with my friends on Facebook, Twitter, and coming cute one also on YouTube, I'll just add a title for the video. And this is a demo. And then I'm gonna tap share replay. And this is really how easy it is. We are uploading the video, and meanwhile we're doing that, we could go check out other videos and see what other people do in this game and what my friends are up to. But right now we're not really going to look into the uh, social user interface. You can check out other videos for that. But the, as you see, the integration really takes just a couple of minutes and runs beautifully on a Unity 3D game. So I hope to see you recording more replays and letting your players share meaningfully from your games. Check out every player.